Hi, my name's Emma. I'm the School and Youth Programs Manager at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art, and I'm here today for another Art in Action. Today we're going to be talking about reuse materials. So most people have a recycling bin in their home, and today I'm going to talk about all the things that you can find in that recycling bin that might be really perfect for an art project. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about the kinds of things you can collect, what you should be looking for, um, and some ideas of projects that you can do with those things. Um, but first I want to talk a little bit um, about what I have here on the table. The most important thing that you're looking for when you're saving a reuse material is that it's something that is clean and dry. You don't want it to look like garbage or your art's going to look like garbage. Um, so you want to make sure that whatever you're using is nice and clean. So I have this um, egg carton here. Um, you can tell that no eggs got broken in there. There's no food on it. So that's ready to go. Um, and with everything else, um, I'm looking for things that are clean and dry and um, look like something fresh and ready to be used. So sometimes you might be using things like yogurt containers or um, plastic cups, and that's perfect for mixing paint or um, really just anything in the studio where you need to store something quickly. Um, but sometimes you're using things that might be a little bit more unusual. So we have these um, paint chips here that you might get at a hardware store um, and you can incorporate that into collages. Also great for collages are magazines. Um, I love National Geographic or other kinds of really uh, visual graphic magazines um, where you can pick out things that have interesting colors, textures to use in collages. So magazines, especially ones that have lots of photography or graphics, are perfect for use in collages. You might also be thinking about ways that you can incorporate reuse materials into three-dimensional artworks. So again, I have my egg carton. I've got all kinds of different pieces of cardboard. I love these tiny insides of paper matchboxes. Um, it feels like this could make something really cool, a miniature sculpture of some kind. Uh, paper towel and toilet paper tubes are great. Um, and this texture of bubble wrap is also a really nice way to add some dimensionality um, to a two-dimensional artwork or a three-dimensional sculpture. One thing that we have a great example of with us today is our weaving in, here in the background. So this entire weaving was made from reuse materials. We had um, ribbons and strips of fabric that we ripped to be all about the same size and just wove that into um, a backdrop that was made just from chicken wire. So this artwork behind me is 100% made from reuse materials and we hope that would inspire you to uh, get started on something of your own. One thing to remember about reuse materials is that there are really power in numbers. So if you have just one um, lid or one CD disc or one toilet paper tube, it might not be that exciting yet, but if you're able to uh, collect things in multiples, save them over time, um, they can add up to be something that's even more impactful. Once you start saving reuse materials, you might discover that you um, are finding new ways to use things all the time. So when I was preparing for this video today, I actually found this really interesting bag that I otherwise would probably just put in the trash, but it's a um, Ziploc bag that has a window in it. So I think that this is something that maybe I could use, put a collage inside of it and it's like a built-in frame or um, think of it as maybe even just a drawing of a fish tank could go in here. There's really limitless possibilities once you start thinking about uh, ways to reuse things around you. All right, so that's all we have for today. We can't wait to see what you're making at home from reuse materials and be sure to check out the rest of the videos in our library for other examples of what you can do with things found in your recycling bin. We'll see you next time on BEMA's Art in Action.